Hey, you! Everything all right? Ah, an unfamiliar wanderer. I am very busy, so what do you want? What are you doing here? Well, the things a woodcutter and hunter usually do. What interesting things are there to see here? Interesting is well put. If you go deeper into the woods here, you'll run into some very evil fellows. They're about ten feet tall, hairy, and in a really bad mood. So don't go there if you're not strong enough for them. Can you teach me something about hunting? Sure. But first, get me something decent to eat. I'm dying of hunger out here. I want a bottle of milk, a loaf of bread, and a fat ham. Then I'll teach you what you want. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Guarding sheep. <sighs> and if possible, staying out of trouble. Doesn't always work, does it? Nah, especially not with the mercenaries. I'm really glad to be out here in the pasture, although it can be dangerous too. What's so dangerous in the pasture? There's a small pack of wolves that roams the area. Lately, the damn beasts have come by and eaten one of my sheep almost every day. A few days ago, I had almost twice as many sheep. I don't want to think what Onar will do to me when he finds out. Why didn't you tell the mercenaries about the wolves? I thought they worked for you. Yeah, I know. 
I should have done that. But I didn't, damn it. And now, with so many sheep gone, I'm afraid to tell anyone about it at all. But you just told me. I'm already regretting that, too. What if I kill those wolves? You? By yourself? <laughs> I don't believe it. I'd sooner trust my bellwether to do that. Forget it. It was just a suggestion. I'll go over to the boys and see what they say about it. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, Em. You're the greatest, and you can take on a hundred wolves at once. No problem. Mostly, they lurk between the trees near the pasture. I think there were only four. Hey. How are you? And how are your sheep? I'm fine. And so are the sheep. That is, the ones that are still here are doing all right. One dirty beast less. Nothing there. Hey, you! I've done in the wolves. You did it! Thank Innos. But now, I still don't know how to tell Onar that all those sheep are gone. It's all that damn Bulko's fault. What did you say about Bulko? He's one of the mercenaries. It was actually his job to guard the pasture. But instead, he and his pal Silvio hang around Thecla in the kitchen all day. It's that bastard's fault if I don't get paid for weeks because of the lost sheep. I wish I could at least punch him in the mouth for it, but nobody stands a chance against him. The guy's a killer.
nothing to be had there. What do you want from me? Can you help me improve my abilities? I could show you how to use your strength better in close combat. A lot of fighters are very weak because they don't have the technique to use their strength properly. The same is true for dexterity and ranged weapons. That was obvious all along. I want to improve my abilities. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. You just have to listen. I never knew that. There's nothing you can do about it. Good. Now you can use your abilities better. Nobody will learn anything from me. I'm in enough trouble as it is. Hey, where do you think you're going? To the house, of course. Onar pays us not to let guys like you in here. I want to talk to Lee. <laughs> what do you want from him? I never knew that. He and I go way back. You're a pal of Lee's? I don't believe a word. But go on in. He doesn't recognize you. <laughs> You'll know it. Lee is in the right wing. Don't even think about wandering around anywhere else. Yeah, he really said that. I agree with you completely. Don't even think about touching anything here. Otherwise, you'll get a couple upside the head, got it? There's a whole bunch of junk here. That's right. And most of it is extremely valuable. Onar collects valuable objects. A simple man like me can hardly afford such luxury. I stick to other things. And that would be? I collect old coins. What's your job? Onar wants me to spend all day keeping an eye on his stuff. He's worried that something will go missing, and I would too in his place. Most of the mercenaries he's hired are former convicts from the penal colony. They'll walk off with everything that isn't nailed down if no one watches out. Has anyone tried to steal anything yet? A few, and I caught them all. I've got an old coin here. Hmm, show me. Oh yeah? That won't bring much on the open market. I'll pay you a gold piece for it. Exactly as much as it used to be worth. Not quite enough. What about two? Nothing doing. I'm not a loony. Beat it. I've got an old coin here. You know what I'm prepared to pay for it, you dog. One gold piece, no more. Not quite enough. What about two? Ah, damn, all right. Two gold coins for every old coin you can bring me. That's my final offer. It's a deal. Good. Here's two gold coins. Interested in some more old coins? Sure. You still have any? A few. Thanks. Here's your money. Bring me all you can find. said that. Who the devil let you in here? You are the new fellow who has been causing trouble? I have heard from Gorn that you were still alive, but that you would come here anyway. If you get involved in a duel with the mercenaries, that's one thing. But if you beat up on a farmer, they run straight to Onar, and he expects me to do something. You'll have to pay a penalty. Onar pockets the money himself as a rule, but it's the only way to settle the matter. 
How much? 50 gold pieces. I don't have enough gold. Then go get it as soon as possible. But just don't think you can steal it here on the farm. If you get caught, things will be even worse for you. Do you really believe that? Is it really true? I can't believe that. I'd have gone about it differently. How are things? Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I used to deal in swamp weed back in the colony, remember? And what are you dealing in now? Ah, don't ask. I brought a whole package of swamp weed with me from the mining colony. Many of the mercenaries like a little smoke now and then. I've earned a small fortune on the side. But some bastard stole all the weed from my chest. I'm pretty sure it was that Bodo. He bunks in the same room as me, and he always grins at me like such an idiot. What are you going to do about the thief, then? One of these days, I'll catch him puffing away on my weed. And then, I'll find a quiet spot and teach him a lesson he won't forget. If I knock him down here in the middle of the yard, the other farmers will notice, and I'll pay an arm and a leg. How come? Quite simple. We can't rough up the farmers, otherwise Lee makes us pay a heavy fine. That's the way Onar wants it. And the more witnesses there are, the more of a fuss there is. That makes things more expensive. So I'll pull the thing off nice and inconspicuously. Show me your wares. I don't have any swamp weed at the moment. Do you want something else? What are you smoking there? Want a toke? Sure. Not bad, huh? Where did you get the stuff? I have my sources. Cypher told me that someone stole a package of swamp weed from him. <laughs> Would you know anything about that? No. Do you do anything besides smoke? Not at the moment. Where's the package? What do I know? I'll knock it out of you. Relax, I'm way too stoned to fight with you. Here, first take a big toke. Where's the package? What do I know? Hey, you! I know who took your weed. Who? Was it that Bodo? No, one of the mercenaries did it. Dar. That bastard. Where is he? Finding him won't help you. He doesn't have the package anymore. He sold it in Carinus. Where is he? Behind the kitchen building on the corner. 
I'll flatten him. You poor suck. Wait a minute. You really gave Dar what for? Are you feeling better now? Yeah, that felt good. Not to him, I suppose. The little beggar has no business going through my chest. Blabbermouth, you told Cypher I took his weed. Where's the package? What do I know? 